If you're playing Fortnite and facing the launch error 10022, couldn't start the game Fortnite EAC unexpected error, here is a video and I will show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem. Now the first and foremost thing you need to do is that since the issue is related to easy anti-cheat, we will first check whether the link from our PC to the EAC server is good or not. For that, I have given you a link in the description box. You just need to click on it. Once you click on the link, what will happen is it will simply give you two messages, whether it will be as like this 200 HTTP OK. That means the link is completely fine and you don't have to do anything with your network. If by chance there's some other messages then maybe the issue is with the network and probably the next step will fix it. The next step what you need to do is you need to switch your network. What does that mean? Well, if you ever have any error message regarding network issues or connection of the game, simply change the network. For example, if you're using a LAN connection, try changing it to your mobile hotspot network and then try the game. Majority of the network issues get immediately fixed with this trick. You just need to switch it to some other network. Next step, you need to ensure if you're playing on PC, make sure your graphics drivers whether it is Nvidia or AMD are updated to the latest version. Moreover, your windows are updated too. If you are in a console, do check whether there's a new firmware update and make sure you update it to the latest as well. Next step what we'll do is, we'll manually repair our easy anti-cheat. For this, what you need to do is, just open your Fortnite directory. In the Fortnite folder, what you have to do is, you have to go to Fortnite game, binaries, win64, and then you will find easy anti-cheat. So simply double click on this easy anti-cheat setup and a small little thing will come up on your screen as you can see right now and here what you have to do is simply click on the repair service or you can choose the current game which is right now installed as Fortnite you can simply click on repair service for me I'm not getting the issue so I'm not going to click it but you can click on repair service and then try launching the game the next step what we will do is it may happen that the error is occurring only on your PC then you can contact the epic support team and explain them the issue with certain specific screenshots to get a fix for that. For this, what you need to do is open any one of your browser. In this browser, what you have to do is there's a link provided in the description. You can click on that and this th little thing will pop up. If you're facing the problem with Fortnite, there is a link provided here. You can right click on it, copy that link and you can go to that link. Or if you're not facing the problems with, uh, let's say some other games, you can choose the game over there and submit the ticket. But if you're facing the problems with Fortnite, what you need to do is you have to open this website as you can see over here. I'll provide this in the description as well. Scroll down and we'll click on Fortnite over here. And then we don't need to do all these things. We just have to click on contact us. And over here, obviously you have to log in. And after you have logged in, as you can see, I have logged into my account and this is my ID. So uh, over here, you can see that you can choose your platform, but it is optional completely. You describe your problem that you're facing the issue with your easy anti-cheat. And you can put your, uh, the image file of that particular uh, error code or that 100022 and put it over here and then click on submit a request. So you can do this and it, you have to wait like uh, 20 to half an hour, uh, then uh, you will get a reply in your mail. And from there you can find the person who will help you directly over from Epic and to solve your problem. The last step would be to change your DNS server manually. For this, what you need to do is, first and foremost, you have to go to the corner of a screen and on the network, you have to right click and click on open network and internet settings. Over here, you have to click on change adapter options and this window will come up. From here, you have to choose whichever network you're using. I'm currently using Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna choose it. Right click, go to properties. And over here, this small window, here you have to choose internet protocol version four, TCP slash IP version four. Go to properties and here set that obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to tick the bottom one, which is use the following DNS server address. And I will recommend you using the Google DNS server, which is 8888-8844. This is Google's public DNS server. If you want a better one, which is even more stable than that, you can use that also, which is the Cloudflare DNS server, which is 11111100. So you just need to press OK and then restart your computer and see if that fixes your problem. So those were the fix which you can try in order to fix this problem. 
If you're still having the issue, here is my Twitter. You can go ahead and contact me with a specific screenshot showing me in what place you're facing the error. If you have any other error also, you can just simply put a screenshot. Don't forget to tag me. And if this video was a little bit of helpful and it fixes your problem, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.